Could I, I make could, a statement sure. about national defense? Yeah. The biggest threat to America today is not communism. It's moving America toward a fascist theocracy. And everything that's happened during the Reagan administration is steering us right down that pipe. Oh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Zappa, do you, yes, do Mr. you, Zappa. Do you really think? I mean, I all, really kidding, think that. all kidding aside, in this country, with the permissiveness that we are moving toward a fascist theocracy, anything you goes. We are, but you know, do, you, what, do you think things like this would ever have been permitted? When we, when, we were 20, 20, when we were kids, you're about my age, maybe I'm a little 45. younger. Well, I'm 55. Do you think when, when I was a kid that they would permit songs like that to be sold? I mean, permissiveness is the game. I mean, well, exactly. I mean, you're not you're not really serious if, if you're just saying we're going toward a fascist theocracy. <laughs> That's right, we are. Wait a minute. And what way? Give me, give me well, one example. Wait, 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 wait. Well, one, exa what, what? one example of a fascist theocracy. When you have a government that prefers a certain moral code mm -hmm. derived from a certain religion, and that moral code turns into legislation mm -hmm. to suit I'm, one well, certain well, religious that, point of view, and if that code right. happens to be very, very right-wing, almost toward well, the fill of the hun, well, then you are an anarchist. Every form of civil government is based on some kind of morality, Frank. Morality in terms of behavior, well, not of in course. terms of theology. Well, look, You know, the interesting connection between the rise of fascism in Europe and the consciousness of politically radical people about corporate power, uh, because there was a recognition that fascism rose in Europe with the help of enormous corporations. Mussolini was greatly admired all across the spectrum. Business loved him. Investment shot up. And suddenly when Hitler came in in Germany, the same thing happened there. Investment shot up in Germany. He had the workforce under control. He was getting rid of dangerous left-wing elements. Investment opportunities were improving. There was no problems. These are wonderful countries.